Greetings, my sinister companions, to the first episode of Eerie Yuletide Tales, creepy folklore from around the world. Have you ever delved into the chilling lore of the Aswang? A nightmarish entity lurking in the shadows of the Philippines, driven by an insatiable appetite for the taste of human flesh and blood. <laughs> The unsettling prospect of not knowing whether danger lurks around the corner can be paralyzing, and the Aswang compounds this fear by embodying the uncertainty of a shapeshifter, blending the most ominous traits of vampires and werewolves. As a result, the Aswang stands as the most dreaded monster in all Filipino folklore. The term Aswang encompasses a spectrum of mythological creatures, ranging from were-dogs to vampires and even a ghastly viscera sucker. Despite their varied forms, they all share a common appetite for human flesh and blood. While legends of the Aswang have permeated centuries, the number of purported real-world sightings experienced a chilling surge during the COVID-19 pandemic in the Visayas Islands. Prowling through the quiet, rural towns of the Philippines, this lethal monster engages in nocturnal hunts, seeking a macabre meal of human flesh and blood. The Aswang possesses a formidable array of abilities, with its most fearsome attribute being the skill to seamlessly blend in with its unsuspecting victims. By day, Aswangs adopt the guise and behavior of ordinary individuals, often maintaining jobs, friendships, and even families, albeit with a general disposition towards shyness and reclusiveness. Oh my, sounds like me. As night falls, Aswangs undergo a transformation into forms tailored for hunting, varying across different regional versions of the creature. Entities such as the Tik Tik and Wok Wok transform into large birds, while the Zegben, occasionally described as a companion to the monster, assumes the shape of a Tasmanian devil. Oswongs have also been reported to shift into the forms of pigs and dogs. In addition to their shape-shifting prowess, Oswongs possess the ability to alter the appearance of objects, often transforming plant material into duplicates of their victims. This enables them to conceal evidence of their feeding habits, with these doppelgangers sometimes replacing corpses or even living individuals. If a living person is replaced, the doppelganger returns to the victim's home, feigns illness, and succumbs swiftly. Employing sinister vocal tricks is yet another strategy the Aswangs utilize to disguise their presence. As the predatory creature draws near its victim, its call diminishes in volume, creating the illusion that the monster is moving away. The hunting capabilities of the Aswang are nearly as alarming as its talent for concealment. These creatures prefer to feast on corpses, fetuses, and small children, often making appearances at funeral wakes or beside pregnant women's beds. Using a proboscis-like tongue, Aswangs extract blood from their victim or, in the case of pregnant women, suck out fetuses. Furthermore, they exhibit superhuman strength during the nighttime. The transformation into an Aswang involves tying a fertilized chicken egg to one's stomach. As time passes, the chick emerges from the egg into the stomach. Subsequently, the remaining eggshell along with coconut oil and chicken dung is interred in a bamboo tube, granting the person Aswang powers. Even in death, an Aswang can pass on its powers by bringing its mouth close to a chosen individual, causing the chick within the monster's stomach to transfer into the mouth of the new recipient. You're probably asking yourself, how can I get rid of Aswangs? I'm glad you asked. Take note. The initial step in eradicating the menace of this lethal assailant from a town involves identifying the monster, and there are multiple methods to achieve this. 
Aswangs typically exhibit bloodshot eyes, a result of their nocturnal hunting activities. Moreover, legend has it that gazing directly into an Aswang's eyes will cause one's reflection to appear upside down. The most prevalent technique for detecting Aswangs, however, revolves around the use of albularios oil, an exclusive blend crafted from coconuts and sacred plants. According to popular belief, this oil is said to start boiling whenever an Aswang is nearby. Aswangs exhibit aversion to garlic and religious artifacts, and are least formidable during daylight hours when they assume human form. Their vulnerability during this time makes them susceptible to decapitation or strikes with a whip fashioned from a stingray's tail. Both methods prove effective in their elimination. But the Aswang isn't alone in the realm of Filipino folklore. It shares similarities with Western vampires, but the origins of these creatures evolved separately. Other monsters like the Wakwak and the Manananggal leave behind half of their human torso during transformation. The origin of the Aswang can be traced back to Philippine folklore, with tales of this fearsome creature dating back to at least the 16th century. It was during this time that Spanish colonizers documented the monster, marking the first written record of its existence. Among all the monsters in the local folklore, the Aswang stood out as the most dreaded creature. The creature's name is derived from the Sanskrit word asura, meaning demon. demon. Additionally, it is sometimes referred to as the tiktik or the wakwak, Names inspired by the ominous sounds the monster is believed to produce while on the hunt. Despite the lack of well-known individual stories, the Aswang's fame rests on first-hand encounters. Aswang mythology solidified in the 1960s thanks to Maximo Ramos and his book, Creatures of Philippine Lower Mythology. Drawings of the Aswang have graced Philippine folk art for centuries, and it's found its way into Western culture through books and stage plays. The Aswang Phenomenon, a recent documentary, delves into the evolution of its mythology and the culture behind the myths. But could there be more to the Aswang than just myth? Some suggest real-life events may have inspired these tales. One theory posits that native wildlife was the inspiration for the legends. The tick-tick and wak-wak hunting calls the monster is said to make are probably the calls of nocturnal birds. Bats, Tasmanian devils, and kagwang, an endangered species of flying lemur, have all been killed because they have been suspected of being aswang in a transformed state. Another potential explanation of the Aswang mythology points to the presence of a rare genetic disease called XDP, which almost exclusively affects Filipino men. XDP causes patients to exhibit Parksonian and dystonic symptoms. The patient is afflicted with uncontrollable muscle spasms, contortions, and tremors. Images of Aswangs during transformation are strikingly similar to photographs of a patient experiencing XDP symptoms. The highest concentration of XDP occurrences is in the Capiz region, which is rumored to be the original home of the Aswang. Finally, the Aswang legend may be utilized to explain away horrendous unsolved crimes in the Philippines. When a person disappears or is brutally murdered, it may be easier for local people to attribute the crimes to a demon rather than to one of their fellow humans. Tabloids often attribute crimes to the Aswang, which adds fuel to the mythology. Whether a tale to control the local population or a monster to fear, the Aswang is a manifestation of humanity's darkest nightmares a creature that lurks in the shadows of Filipino folklore, waiting to haunt the dreams of those who dare to believe. Thank you, my ghoulish fiends, for joining me on this spine-chilling journey about the terrifying creature known as the Aswang. Until next time, stay vigilant, for you never know what might be lurking in the darkness. Ha, 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 ha.